how to move notion widgets hey guys welcome back in this video i'm showing you my favorite notion widgets that you must add to your notion team space or your pages these widgets make your notion more aesthetically pleasing and help you with different tasks you'll be able to save your time and space so let's get into it first of all you're gonna access your notion.so so any workspace that you have already created team space you'll just see simply open it up now you can create a new page or you can work on previous pages that you already have if you do not have notion.so then you can go to the website and create your account using your google account or your email address notion is a note-taking and task management software which is amazing and it has a lot of different you know features and options so let's get into the video and let me show you how to move Notion widgets. So for that, you can actually go to a website known as widgetbox.app. So this is where you will go. Just go to your web browser and search for widgetbox.app and it will take you to this website. Now, uh, you can log in with your Google account and it will give you access to all of these amazing widgets. There are paid widgets as well and free too. We will be using the free ones and it's a very easy to use a platform. Okay, so the first widget that you need to add to your Notion is going to be this digital retro clock. So once you select the widget you want to go for, you click on create. So uh, once you are here, uh, now we can give our, you know, uh, give the title to our widget. So I'm just going to call it the retro uh, digital uh, clock. So that's going to be the name. Uh, now we can customize the widget a little bit according to our page. That's what you need to focus on, that it aligns with your page and, you know, the whole aesthetic of your notion. Okay, so here we have this. Now I can change the background if I want it to be white or black or if I want it to be purple. And in purple, we have different shades. So I'm going to go with this one and background is black. So for background, I'm going to go with the white. Uh, okay, the white doesn't look that good. Let's change it to... There are a lot of color schemes available. Uh, that's what I love about, you know, widget box that we can customize the widget completely. Okay, so this is what I am going for uh, as my clock. Now, we can select if I want it to be rounded, non, small, medium. Now you can see the edges are being round or large round. Mm, I think the medium looks good. Type, if I want it to be 12 hour clock or 24 hour, so I'm going to go with 12 because um, it becomes complicated to kind of like count. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with the 12 hour. Now I have customized my widget completely. Again, keep in mind, you can customize it, all of the colors, everything. So this is the one that I wanted to go for. So once your widget is, you know, customized and you can even select it in Notion dark mode. If you're using Notion in dark mode, then you can select it so that uh, you can see how it looks like in the dark mode. But I am not using the dark mode, so I'm going to go with this one. Now, all we have to do is just click on copy and embedded URL, copy it. So once you have copied this link, you're going to go back to your Notion. So I have also created this new page for just for the widgets, you know, to keep it clear. Um, here, what you're going to do is you're just going to click here and paste. And you're going to click on paste. Once you paste, it asks you to create an embed. So you're going to click on create embed and it will just load. And your widget will be added to your Notion page. And there you go. We have our clock. Now I can even give it a name. So here we have our first widget added. Um, I can actually customize it a little bit if I want to, you know, make it a little smaller and place it in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. And we can now even move it. So this has been added here. Let's add more widgets. For that, um, I will again be using widget box. You can also use other, um, you know, softwares out there. But this one is actually really easy to do. Uh, the next one is going to be a life progress bar. Now, this one is another important widget that you can move to your notion. Um, so this one is actually for life progress. Of course, of, if you have any kind of notion page, if you have like a personal page for your personal growth, work, progress, anything, 
you can use this one. Uh, here we have date of birth. Now, this is according to, you know, your life uh, and like the whole express. Um, this one is for the age, but you can, of course, change it. You can add uh, maybe another date and then life expectancy. You can improve and uh, decrease from here. Select the background text colors and then you can select the um, the colors for the year, for the month, for the week, everything. And again, it's going to be really easy to move a widget to Notion. Click on copy. We'll go back to our page and here we're going to click on paste. It will ask me to create an embed and my new widget will be added to my Notion page. So here we have our next widget. Now let's go back and we can explore from different widgets. We have clocks, weather, calendar, reactions and more. Calendar. Calendar is really important. So I'm going to click on create and create a calendar for my Notion. Again, if I want to go with the dark mode, I can, you can see, and the color, the color background for the calendar. Again, I will be going for my theme that I have, which is this purple and the calendar text is going to be white because I will be changing the color. Now the header is going to be very dark. And then we have the text color. The header text color is again going to be white. Okay, so the text color needs to be changed and I'm going to change it to the same as our text like this. Okay, this looks really good and looks customized. The border, if I want the border width or not, okay, this is better. And then we have the border color. Uh, again, I'm going to change the border color to something lighter. Then we have rounded small medium or large so i'm going with medium because it's giving it a little edge like this and it looks like really cool so we're gonna go with this one now i have customized my widget so we're gonna do the same thing and copy the link once you copy the link for this widget as well you will come back to your notion and this is where you will paste it and we're just gonna click here paste and click on create embed and now our, my new widget will be added here if you want to delete a widget if you do not like a widget and it's not according to your page then you can click on these three dots and you can delete it so now we have two widgets and i'm going to actually do the same and i'm going to move it here like so now you can see we have two widgets here we have a calendar and a clock let's go back to our widget box and here we can go for timers codes now code is like an important part of a calendar as of, of a page as well if you have like a personal page so we can also create this one i'm going to click on create we can use other widget uh you know uh, softwares as well but the process is going to be similar you just copy the link and embed it into your notion page so here we have this Code type, random or self. If you want to go with a random code uh, from this widget, you can go with this one. If you want to add the codes yourself, then you will go with self here. And I'm going to go with self and write something here. Let's say you can do it. Okay, so now we have to select the background color and you guessed it right. I'm going to go with the same color as my, uh, you know, page. Perfect. It's going to be this. Uh, I want to change the color of my text to maybe yellow and we're going to go with the darker yellow and it will look like this. Then we have the icon color. So the icon color is yellow as well, but I want to change it to this uh, like so. So this one actually looks better now. And if I want to change the background color to a little lighter like so. Should I go with white text? I think so. So we can go with the white text actually. Okay, perfect. Now this is our new widget. And again, um, I'll just click on copy link. And we're going to go back to our notion. Paste and create embed. And there you go. We have added our notion widgets very easily. And this is how you move widgets to Notion. You can see we added a retro clock, we added calendar and even code. And you can even use other applications to move widgets like this to make your Notion more aesthetically pleasing and get more productive. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.